Hey, uh, Governor Rick Perry here. Hey, Governor Perry. It's Jimmy Dore. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Haven't talked to you in a while. What's shaking, Bacon? Uh, not much. What are you up to, buddy? Oh, heck, just sitting here cleaning my smart guy glasses. <laughs> really? Yeah, and when those are done, I'm going to clean this big old fucking gun I got sitting right here. A gun? Yeah, a big old assault rifle. I'm a clean her up because daddy's about to take her on a walk into town i need priscilla looking pretty for the fellas what are you talking about jimmy as of january 1st we have open carry here in texas and you bet your honey that i've been waiting a long time to make my priscilla the bell of the ball right out here in the town square okay I'm going to squire her around town, Jimmy. I'm going to take her to the post office, the five and dime, <laughs> the dollar store, the bakery, everywhere. Everybody's going to say, ooh, what a pretty girl. Right. Now, old Jimmy McWhorter, he thinks his Norma Jean, that old clunky AR-52 of his, that he thinks is something, but it ain't nothing. <laughs> he thinks Norma Jean is going to steal Priscilla's thunder, but anyone who knows anything knows that he's just a rat fink with an ugly gun. Governor, a lot of people say this open carry, it's just an extension of a culture of gun fetishization that... And if that old Jimmy McWhorter starts talking any more <laughs> trash about my Priscilla, <laughs> I just may have to let Priscilla do her own talking on her own behalf. And if that involves shooting up a toy store, so be it. Fuck it. It's open carry, bitches. Hit the deck. Why are people insisting on carrying their guns everywhere? I mean, what's this all about? So everyone is safer, Jimbo. Good guys with guns all over. It's the safest you can be. Can you imagine all the safety? Mm, <laughs> it's just a cozy, <laughs> safe feeling. You know, I don't know. I see the pictures, and it doesn't look very safe to me. Well, Jimmy, you're just unfamiliar with gun culture. That's all. Until one of us decides to shoot ourselves or our family members or our gun is accidentally but lethally discharged by a child or a dog, as has happened, until such time we shall revel in our collective safety as well as our manliness. Manliness? Yes. Manliness in knowing that we as men are temporarily protecting our families from the peril that we ourselves have put them in. Now, what do you say about President Obama's statement that the uh, the other day about— I'd like to see him try. Try what? I'd like to see him try and come and take our guns in Texas. No one's coming to take your guns away. No one is going to take our guns away. No one's trying to. I'd like to see him try, though. <laughs> He's not, though. Well, I wish he would. <laughs> Why? Because I want to shoot a black dude. Governor. Why? That's a dream, man. That's a white whale. Shooting a black dude in self-defense, or at least a scenario that could be construed to be self-defense when seen through the prism of self-deluding fantasy. That's horrible. Well, I'm just trying to explain gun culture to you. Isn't it good to learn about other cultures? Isn't that what you liberals are always squawking? I, I suppose. Well, then learn about gun culture already. You see, Jimmy, in our faith, we believe that when you die, you go to a giant shooting range in the sky. But instead of paper targets, you get to shoot at black men who are threatening your family all day for eternity. Isn't that beautiful? That is our faith, and it gives us comfort and spiritual sustenance. Yeah, that's really messed up. Like all cultures and faiths, we possess an admirable impulse for charity. Why, I myself am a board member for an organization that provides scooters for open carriers of little means. Scooters? Yes, Jimmy, scooters. As you have probably noticed, some of these open carry men, they're, you know, they're big boys. They're big fellows, obese. <laughs> and he's slinging a assault rifle over their shoulders and put a few sidearms on them. Well, that just weighs them down even more. And, you know, it's it's really sad. They want to be out there proudly open carrying with their buddies and walking around and going into shops and scaring everyone like a normal person. But they just get to huffing and puffing, and they got to take breaks and sit down. And it just it, it just really wears their spirit down. You can tell. So we give them scooters to ride around in. And, Jimmy, you should see their faces light up. 
it just makes a world of difference to them, and, you know, there they go. Just a jiggling sphere of a man, quivering with rage, riding around on a scooter, armed to the teeth. Just so much dignity. It really is wonderful to see. Wow, that's really nice of you. I know. Okay, Governor, that's uh, that's about as messed up of a thing as I thought you would say, so thank you very much for saying it. Hey, no problem. i got to go start putting makeup on my baby gun here, so uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay. okay, that's not weird. Bye. Keep the clicker back. <laughs> 